I also said, I don't know what I'm going to do. And she's like, don't try and guilt trip me. I wasn't trying to guilt trip. I was just thinking out loud when I said that to her. Lunchtime egg salad for lunch. So I've been dealing with this for a couple days. The heel is cracked open on my uh, foot. Yikes, it hurts to walk on it. And it's cracked in a couple of places. But that one, that really hurts. Um, I've been putting that uh, foot cream stuff on it, and or the foot cream that Regis Craig um, suggested to me a while ago, and then putting my sock back over it to keep the cream on there. Uh, but it hurts. It hurts bad. Why do I get the, always get the loudest people ever next to me? And she's smoking a cigarette too. And every time she's on her side of the car or on the driver's side, she's looking in my car. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaking pretty freaking hot. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. At a certain point, you just wonder if they're broken. So I think I spent an hour Thursday talking to this guy from uh, Facebook dating. And uh, it was like our first uh, chat on the phone or whatever. He told me he was a Capricorn, which uh, astrological signs aren't important to me when dating, but... I do think it's interesting to look and see what the compatibility is and all that. And uh, <laughs> it said that we weren't compatible and uh, definitely talking on the phone with him definitely was not uh, compatible. He was in the hospital because he, uh, he was in the hospital for two weeks because he broke, he messed up something in his spine, spinal cord, uh, at work, and he was paralyzed for, I don't know, temporarily or not, paralyzed from the hip down, and so the nurses were going through a shift change, and people were walking in and out of his room, and every time that happened, he would put me on hold, uh, it was really annoying, <laughs> he talked about uh, his ex-wife and his ex-girlfriend drama and uh after a bit of that uh -huh, I mean after an hour of that he just kept on talking and I just hung up the phone and blocked him <laughs> <laughs> I got dinner from uh the Chesters in the Love's truck stop in Newport Tennessee it was jumbo chicken strips uh I don't, don't get those. They're fucking disgusting. <laughs> uh, they're like, I had them the first night, the first night they were okay. And then the second night they were really gross, like fatty, they had fatty pieces in them and like tough skin pieces and jumbo. They weren't lying. They really were jumbo. Okay. Like I wish I would have gotten regular chicken strips because these things cost like 12 bucks for four pieces. Redonkulous.